Estimating on the number line helps students with developing a conceptual understanding of numbers and their size. This tool presents numbers as single entities, as two add-ins, or as a difference between two numbers. The three buttons in the upper right allow you to select the presentation of the problem. Once the numbers are entered in a typical addition problem, let's use 4 thirds plus 3 sixths. They can be changed from fractions to decimals or back again. Or let's show the whole instead of the improper fraction. The challenge is to estimate the position of the number or resulting number on the number line based on three given benchmark numbers. An estimate of the sum of these two numbers is clearly above one. We should adjust the number line and therefore the benchmark students would have to select. These benchmarks change by increasing or decreasing the maximum and minimum values of the number line using these adjustments. The benchmarks are based on the beginning, middle, and end of the number line. Increasing the upper value to 2 and the lower value to 1 allows for better estimation benchmarks. The number of reference points on the number line can also be changed using these adjustments. Selecting an incorrect estimate, say 1, then clicking on the Check Work button presents feedback with a restatement of the problem. When a correct estimate is made, vectors are presented above the number line with a dotted reference appearing at the end of the last vector. This presents a visual representation of the fractions on the number line and the proximity of the fraction to the benchmark selected. The various presentations of fractions and flexibility of the presentation enabled with this tool will help students develop a better conceptual understanding of estimating fractions and their position on the number line.